Hey, Las Vegas, thank you for joining us back here on Realty Check, your local Las Vegas real estate news show. I'm your host, Trish Williams. And I'm your co-host, Tiana Carroll. Welcome to today's show. I'm very excited about today's show, Trish. We have some fun stuff in store for you guys because, well, we all know the real estate market is not doing great right now. And, you know, realtors are kind of having a hard time. A lot of sellers out there are unhappy. Buyers are unhappy about rates. Oh, there's buyers? I thought they all disappeared. Well, they did. <laughs> they did. They just like just just dropped off. But, you know, everyone's like not having a great time. And I thought, what what's a solution to this? And since we have a community spotlight show every month where we highlight someone in the local community, I found out about Zari Riley and this uh, shot o'clock board game that she has. And I thought, what a better solution for, for the environment we're in, right? Yeah, I'm very excited, Zari. I can't wait for you to tell us about it. But before we get started with any of the local spotlight, which I love supporting the local community and business. So this is so fun for me. This is my first community spotlight show as co-host, so yay. yay. <laughs> but before we do that, we do have to get the uh, sort of business of the show out of the way. So we get to do a little bit of real estate news today. Yes. Trish, you got numbers for us? I got numbers, okay. Show me what you got, girl. So our current active single family, list, single family residence listings in Las Vegas and Henderson were at 6,982. Wow, week over week, that number just keeps rising. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be at seven. We got um, that inventory in now. Inventory is there. Um, there's been 1,800 price reductions. Um, mm. One thing that I have been seeing, um, which I, I wish I would have uh, brought this number in to report it, um, I've, I've been seeing quite a few withdrawals lately too. Yeah, and quick, within like, <laughs> really, like within a few weeks, people are like, oh, we're done. Yeah, yeah, and, and if, the, if I could put a PSA out there to sellers, you know, normally and historically, let's take away the last two years, which was craziness, Yeah, but houses are not supposed to sell in two weeks or 30 days sometimes they do i mean it's a it's a beauty contest you have a great amazing home it's turnkey it hits the market everybody wants it those houses sell quick right but regular traditional homes usually i mean we've always pr traditionally been in a 60 to 90 day market so the sellers that are pulling their listings after two weeks aren't even giving the agents a chance to market their property yeah and that's the fact of the matter too because there's actually so much work and prep and syndicating it out and getting photos taken and scheduling brokers opens that we're not having the ability to effectively do our job exactly exactly um so um the other in other news um well back on high inventory let's start with that um the fed met yesterday they did yeah we guess love what them. happened yeah <laughs> <laughs> we love them and guess what they did not drop rates they did not they went on raised it almost a point yeah so 0. 0.75 increase and uh that is going to affect mortgage rates here very shortly as well yeah well yeah it's going to take some time to trickle down into the housing sector when they raise that money but you know yeah we all knew it was coming no, yep. no surprise Yep, and uh, Las Vegas Review Journal. They had a headline this morning of Las Vegas home sell or Las Vegas home prices falling, not only locally but nationally. This is this is happening. It's more list price. I mean, it's not prices falling or the actual values dropping. I, it, it will trickle over, of course, but right now it's list prices that are coming down. Yeah, this is a marker of what's to come, but it um, you know the newspaper of course gave that clickbait uh title there so everybody's like oh you know the prices are falling the prices are falling right now it seems to just be a correction because i haven't seen any appraisals come in um shy or short of the list price in too much i think now is just a correction where we were getting so inflated and it was blowing out of proportion now we're just sort of settling down to what our reality is yeah absolutely absolutely have you been hearing anything from friends, family about the housing market or what's happening, Zari? Um, mostly that it's not good. 
<laughs> well, that's what the general public thinks. And let me see. Somebody in real estate, let me tell you, the market's always good. If you have to do business, then you have to do business. That's just the way it is. There's job transfers and new families and marriages and divorce. And It's good for sellers right now, just not so much for buyers. Is that still the case? I got no, we, that switch. Oh. we switched. Oh, okay. <laughs> the right yeah. switch happened. Better okay. for buyers now than sellers. So oh, okay. that, that yeah. shift has happened. That was two months ago. That oh, was okay. true. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and all um, all week I've been having conversations with sellers that were on the fence, and you know their first objection is like, "Oh no, interest rates are too high." Yeah, well, you know, not taking the interest rates out of the equation now is a great time to get concessions from sellers to have them buy down your points um, during escrow, so your mortgage payments lower. You know, there's things that you can do creatively, and with all of the inventory, you, buyers have choices, and so. Yeah. Like I said, it's always a good real estate market. It just depends if you're buying or selling. We can still get into those fours and fives if uh, with with rate buy downs. Yeah. So and those are definitely options out there. Think outside the box. There's definitely things that we can um, see with that. So um, last thing uh, is you know rent prices. Oh. Uh, rent is a hundred percent interest rate. Absolutely. You get so, nothing from it. <laughs> You're getting nothing from rent. So interest rates aside, if you are renting instead of buying, you are definitely paying more. Yes. So that is, um, there's no way around that. And, and uh, renters can get a kind of, they don't know it yet, but there's going to, there could be a change in our rental uh forecast in the valley starting in North Las Vegas. Yeah, no. so North Las Vegas is, um, they are, there's a petition going around North Las Vegas for rent control in the area. Um, very controversial, a lot of people <laughs> against that. So yeah. there's um, there's definitely a, a lot a lot to be said with that. But if they do, if they are in compliance and they do get enough signatures on the petition, it will be added to the ballot. So that is something that is in the works and uh, we will see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, rent prices, right? Rent your your rent can always be raised, um, no matter what happens with the housing market. I don't I, I don't know if I can remember a time where rent prices went backwards. No, I I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, I, I've never heard of anything like that. Yeah, so housing prices can change, but rent prices likely will not. They they will likely continue to rise. Yeah, and so. renters are having a heart attack right now because everybody in the past year who's had to renew a lease, every single person I've ever talked to, it's gone up. It's not mm -hmm. stayed the same. Definitely mm -hmm. hasn't gone down. So renting sucks. Buy a house. Call me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. There's your solution. All right, so <laughs> let's talk about this shot o'clock. Zari. Yes. Um, yes. Tell us a little bit. Tell us. I, first off, I, I'm just so intrigued of this is a board game. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the board game and what made you start this. Okay. Well, my name is Sari Riley again. Um, I uh, really created this out of sheer boredom, honestly. <laughs> um, my friends and I were starting to meet up more. This is pre pandemic. So um, we started to meet up more and we kind of gone through our typical board games, you know. Um, so I just decided to one day just kind of create uh, a, a paper board game. I have it here with me today um, during one of my lunch breaks uh, when I was an elementary <laughs> teacher. So, I mean, well. but <laughs> um, elementary teacher making a shot game. You know, wow. I've you know. my time off. Actually, but, I think um, that's more appropriate than people know. <laughs> right. It was very helpful towards my last couple of years. But um, yeah, that's where it came from. Just just an idea to try something different. Um, and then from there, I would bring it to so many parties and people would say, hey, bring shot o'clock, bring shot o'clock. Um, I never intended to sell it at first, but okay. um, I, I quit teaching last year and decided to like go into my passion and actually put it on the market and see if people love it. I as love much you as my friends do. Being yeah. an entrepreneur, that's amazing. Yeah. And I love a board game and I love drinking. So you've mixed two of my favorite things. So yeah. I'm very excited. So I was um, going over the rules and sort of playing the game and learning it. And halfway through, I was like, oh, snap, this is serious. Like, there is a lot of drinking that happens in this yes, game. Yes, it is. Uh, it's a guarantee. You will you oh. will not leave, leave sober. Um, but play it safely, you know, of course, you know. But um, Drink responsibly. Yeah, please drink responsibly, <laughs> but play irresponsibly. 
That's, yeah. that's my tagline. So. Oh, <laughs> drink responsibly, but play irresponsibly. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. That so, might be my tagline too. <laughs> <laughs> so you you had this game. Um, you were just playing it with your friends for uh, probably about a year and a half before yeah. you decided to create it into a board game. And I was fascinated when you told me about this that you created a board game. It's like yeah, you see board games. But it's like wow, someone here from Vegas actually made one of these games that that, that are that are out there. And 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 that is um, how challenging was that. Honestly, I had to get out of my own way with this. I, um, I, I was seven years a teacher. I have a master's degree. I feel like, okay, I can do this, right? But um, nothing compares to doing your own business. Um, so for me, I just had to get out of my own way and believe as much as my family and my friends believe in me. And um, I just had to buckle down, actually get it onto my computer, find a manufacturer, um, go over the design a couple, I don't know, thousand times, and then just have the courage to actually put it out on social media, which where I am currently trying to push it out. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And and people out there, this is this is what it looks like. This <laughs> is the, the box. And um, if you're looking for a um, board game, there's Okay, so that's the standard box, right? But yeah, what yeah. I really thought was quite interesting about this entire thing is she also, if you go to the website, which is rileyco.games, right? Rileyandco.games. Yep. And um, if you're going to buy it for a gift for somebody or you'd want a custom made one for your family, your group of friends, there are custom game boards available. Like this one is the 513 that you made yes. specifically for your birthday, yes, right? for my 30th birthday. Yeah. Um, so I put in, my own actions for the game. So one of the actions is uh, if you land on this spot, you have to cash out me a dollar. Oh. So if you are kind of money hungry like me, you could put in your own custom spots just like that. Well, you got a master's degree to pay off, so yeah, I guess yeah. uh, that's not really greedy. You know, uh, maybe I should make it $2, but um, okay. yeah. So what does 513 stand for? Um, that's my birthday. I'm, I'm May a very, 13th. yeah, May 13th. I'm a, I'm a very kind, generous person, but when it's my birthday, it's all about me. So I had to make my own board game, and I feel like if anyone loves their birthday as much as me, or even your wedding anniversary, um, you could do it for a family reunion. Um, you could bridal have your own showers. Game. Bridal showers, absolutely. Bachelorette parties. Oh, bachelorette, bachelorette parties. parties. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, I just and you, you could have it's custom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can change the color. Uh, your name goes on the board. Um, you can also have up to five spaces changed. So, and we can kind of go over some ideas and. You can have something as simple as like the shortest player takes a shot. You know, it doesn't have to be. That's you, girl. Yeah, Trish. that would be you every time. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're always going to be that person unless you bring in Cha Cha. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say unless your sister comes. Yeah, because she has she has definitely got me beat. <laughs> she does. She yeah. does. Okay, so uh, we've heard a little bit about the game, and in the box you have your board, you have your instructions, right. and you have your game pieces. Yeah, and they're... can maybe show it. Yes, so, we can. Uh, first, my instructions. One thing I learned mm. with playing the original game is. Is, um, with drinking people spill so this is a laminated instruction sheet so you can do whatever you want with that and, and I, I love how it's simple yeah you know what it, it drives me crazy when you open up a board game and there's like this instruction booklet and the writing so small you need glasses and I'm like whatever let's just figure right. it out right yeah. or you <laughs> throw it away and then you look for it later because you're gonna debate about the game this is simple you're not gonna want to throw this away so yeah. Um, yeah, and then it comes with the six pieces and one die. You can always buy extra online. And then, of course, the glorious... The board. The board. The, uh, the main deal. Um, let's can see I, the board. So let's talk like about this. some of these spaces there. Yeah, yes. yeah, yes. Maybe I can get some... When I was reading the board, six. I thought, man, I'm catching a buzz just reading all these shots that we're going to take. Okay, so on the game board, it seems pretty self-explanatory. Everybody gets a uh, game, game piece. piece. Yep. They start on sober, they roll the die, and they sort of work their way across the board, and each spot will have a direction on mm -hmm. what that is. Some of it's drinking, some of it's something silly, like twerking or picking songs, music. Now, what I found interesting was that there's spaces on here where everybody is required to drink. Yes. So the the most unique part about it is uh, if you land on shot o'clock. So if anyone <laughs> lands on shot o'clock, everyone has to take a drink. Everyone. Wow. Woo -woo. So, but as for any of the other spots, if you're a little shy, that's all good. You just have to take a shot to get and out of the action. And there's seven shot o'clock. So, yeah. so yeah. through the course of 
the one board game, it seems like you could at least get seven shots in mm -hmm. if somebody lands on shot o'clock every space. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. it depends on how many players you have, because if you have five players and they all land on shot o'clock seven times. Listen, I yeah. would be making it a goal to land on shot o'clock. <laughs> if we're playing, let's yeah. play. Yeah. <laughs> that looks so scary to me. Yeah. So, so, okay, of course, if you don't know how to twerk, Take a you shot. know, you're not a millennial. You haven't figured this out yet. Um, no, no, no judgment. Um, <laughs> you have to take Speak a shot for yourself. Yeah. I YouTube yeah. it. I know how now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe I should put that too. Let's get some twerk and instructions. But yeah. And then there's like little breaks. There are a couple safe spots. So you're you're not always. And there's some drink. not so safe spots like mm -hmm. spank another player. What? Yeah. Yeah. With consent, of course. With, With consent. consent. <laughs> if they refuse, then you have to move on and take a shot. So, oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Huh? What is a five second chug? Oh, um, you take whatever drink you have because you're usually going to start with a mixed drink if you if you typically do that, and you have to chug for five seconds. Oh, yeah. Wow. And I put that towards the end just for fun. Yeah. You're that's... like, if you've made it this far, we're going to take you out at the end. Absolutely. Absolutely. So how does this game end? Like everybody's passed out on the floor. Like how does this well, work? Well, uh, the the <laughs> funny thing is, I uh, I've sold quite a few boards to friends and family, to some strangers even. And half of the people, I would say actually majority of people tell me they have not finished the game. They okay. get about to here and everybody's dancing, everybody's up. Yeah, everybody's... That, that's a dangerous spot here. Fill up everybody's drink. Yeah. Absolutely. Just when you think you're safe and almost out, it's like, no, we're going to get you. Yeah. Well, how dangerous is this for, like, especially for realtors? I can only imagine how this would go. <laughs> Person to your left writes a text to one of your contacts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That and, started um, some arguments. Is it on this board or did I see it on the original where you had to post a drunken snap or... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I took that off uh, just because I didn't you. want Snap to get mad at me or anything <laughs> right. like that. But we do have a group Some selfie of us here. This, okay. I love, this is my favorite part. Um, so one of the things I've asked people to do is when you get to the group selfie, you know, tag me in it so I can post it on my Instagram to show you guys having a good time. So, oh, yeah, that's yeah. fun. And I love it. Oh, I'm a sucker for photos, right? I like right. to document events and what kind of a good time we had or whatever. But that's also a good um, social media and marketing for yeah, the game, absolutely. so that's smart. And it's probably like your only piece of re evidence that you played this game, because... Because you might not it, remember playing it in the morning. Really <laughs> I have no footage at all yet, because we, we just are too engulfed in the game, so... All right. Yeah. Wow. Actually, I'm surprised you guys didn't mention this one. That's the, okay. That's, let's see. What is that that's one? That's the one that gets oh, people. Oh, caution! Double shot. Slurring ahead. And then right after, it's a shot o'clock. Like it's yeah. like you hit that, and then you're like another shot, and then fill up. Everybody drinks. Wow, this is like set up for failure. Yeah. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> that's, that's, it's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. Again, you could play still with water, juice. If you play with water, you'll be very hydrated. By yeah, the end of the game. That's good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's good for anyone involved. My grandma has a, a, a game. I don't know if she's watching. Hi, grandma. Um, <laughs> and she, she played I would both. like to see grandma play. Right. She actually played with, by herself with water, and she had a great time. Oh. So anyone can play. Anyone. All, well, over 21. I would like to play, but with alcohol, please. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So how long did it take for you to come up with a game? I um, mean, it had to be a work in progress. You said you used it personally just at parties for your friends. Yeah, I came up with my first version in um, October 2019. Okay. So yeah, right before the pandemic. Um, and again, I, I intended to just have my own board game. I loved bragging and say, oh, we're having a game night. I'm going to bring my game, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't until probably middle of 2020 that I decided, hey, what if any, anybody wants to feel like me, bring their own board game? So um, I would say I started this design, the newest design, um, I would say summer of 2020, once I was done okay, teaching. Okay, so it's relatively and, young. Yeah, and the actual boards came out on January 13th, 2022. Are we in 2022? Oh my goodness, yeah. Yes, 2022. We're, girl, yes, yes we are. Have you been drinking? <laughs> yeah. Is it shot o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it took a little while, but like I said, it was just, I was in my own way, never done a business before, so I, I needed a lot of reassurance and encouragement. Did a lot of testing with some people, um, asked their opinion on certain pieces, so I did a lot of 
um, revising. A little market say. research yeah. with the friends. Mar mm -hmm. Market research. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. What? How was your first game? Was it like a you know like a piece of cardboard? Oh, I have that. Poster yes. Board? Let me. Okay. So my first one that I made in my classroom was just this little piece oh. of paper um, <laughs> for people listening. Just in, in an eight by eleven. Um, in a uh, what do you call this? A like a plastic a plastic sleeve. sheet. You could see it got dirty. A um, report cover. Yeah, we used it a couple times. <laughs> And I had no game pieces, so one of the things we did was we would just find random things around the house, like yeah. you can use your ring or whatever. Um, and then that transformed into this, where I, you know, again, still not a business person, so I just went to Office Depot. All right. <laughs> and printed what I now found is one of the largest board games anyone's ever printed. Um, <laughs> well, but, I kind of love it though because you could roll this up and take it with you. Yeah, yeah, and that was part of I was I was debating if I should just do kind of these type of designs, but I felt like a, a substantial board game would be more impressive than just kind of this little flimsy thing. But oh yeah, it's still yeah. one of my favorites. It honestly walking into someone's house with this big thing, it was great. And then as you can see, the whole thing was laminated. Um, again, for spills, so, um, yeah. Because when you do lots of shots, there ends up with spills. There's I, always going to be spills. Yeah. I just love that, um, the ambition of, like, thinking of an idea, you know, creating it, making it happen, just putting it out, starting with paper, putting it out, making it into a board game, and, yeah. you know, the, the fact that it's someone here in our community, that's so awesome. Yeah, and you mentioned North Las Vegas. I grew up, I'm, I still live in North Las Vegas. I've mm -hmm. been there since I was two. Um, I did go away for college, but I came right back to teach in in the in the area. So, yeah, yeah. That, and, and and that's a, that's a great thing. It's great to hear um, people in Las Vegas that are doing doing things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I just I'm a huge fan of following your own path and doing what makes you happy. And if you know working as a teacher is great. Yeah. You know, we need amazing teachers, there's no doubt. But being able to pursue a dream and make your own life by your own design is really impressive. So yeah. I love the community spotlight for that aspect of it. So. Yeah, it was pretty scary, but it's been overwhelmingly positive so far. Yeah. I just, I just have to keep pushing it out because I've, I've heard no complaints so far. Everyone loves it. Um, so I really want to, I mean, hopefully have a future in getting into a store, um, maybe even start it with a local store, yeah. um, set up some local game nights sponsored by Shot O'Clock, you know, Riley and Co. Games, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. And we have some great toy stores in the Valley, oh. usually more for collectible comic kind of stuff, but mm -hmm. this could go in it because those are all adults. <laughs> yeah. Or you could par partner with bars to have like shot o'clock night. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Half off Bar shots yeah. or something All like right, that. All right, local yeah. bars, if you want Riley and company, to, or Riley and Co. to mm -hmm. come out and sponsor a game night at your bar, they, that's a great idea. Or Absolutely. bars could have custom made games for their bar. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, that, okay. that was a light bulb right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, here PTs? We go. There's a, like there's like a million PTs out here. Yeah. Yeah. Too, that, yeah. You know, custom shot o'clock games. You could it, build build the game board into a table there. Yeah. Oh. So. Okay. <laughs> I make tons of money on shots as much drinking. Thank goodness uh, you've adjusted it because I'm looking at your original game here mm -hmm. and it says chug for ten seconds. See, that was a that's a whole Drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do put on here age 21 and over, and I put on my Duh. instructions, you know, make sure you have a ride home and everything like that. But um, yeah. What do these games sell for? How much is a shot o'clock game? Uh, currently at thirty one ninety nine. Very That's nice. Very um, again, price. that comes with the board, the game pieces, and the instructions all included. Um, I also have custom boards uh, starting at fifty dollars. Um, that gives you the color of the board. Um, you get to have your choice. Your name goes on the board. Um, you also get to uh, change the color and um, the color of the box itself. So it'll and be completely unique. Five customizable spots. Yes, and five customizable, yeah. Which I love that mm -hmm. aspect. I have so many, uh, I guess, personal jokes with my friend group and my mm. family that having a game space referencing those would be adorable. I'm gonna yeah. have to get one of those. Yeah, and, and definitely, I mean, back to the like bridal showers, bachelorette party, well, more bachelorette parties than bridal <laughs> showers probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> baby probably, showers, no. Probably yeah. not too many baby showers. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, but 21st birthdays, Absolutely. you know, all of these celebrations. Oh, that would be a great 21st mm -hmm. birthday To have present. a custom 50th board. birthday, 80th birthday yeah. too. 
you yeah, know, to have yeah. a custom board. Not only it's for the memory, it lasts forever, and then you have your memories of the fun times that you have. Well, you may so. not have memories of the well, fun times. Right, right. <laughs> Please take me. videos. I have none. I would love to see people playing the game. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Also, I have a Christmas version that what? I... Yes, I, I made one uh, more kind of in this print style, but I'm, I'm looking to get some feedback if anyone would be interested. It's so fun. Sign me up. It's yeah. so fun. I'll be your market, your yeah. test group. Okay. Well, we do our Christmas Eve game night, so. Yes, oh, yes, we do. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Most definitely be a fun one for that. Yeah. 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 Yep. And now, uh, I think everybody in my family are adults now, so mm -hmm. I think we're, we're all in. <laughs> yeah, even like the twerk spot has Santa on it instead. It's it's really cute. Cute. So really Santa cute. twerking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nothing <laughs> says Christmas like Santa twerking. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Brings the family together. Yeah. Know, the yeah. twerking. <laughs> for, 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 yeah. For that, sure. That is so good. Yeah. I just want to put out there to our Las Vegas audience that I suggested that we play this game, but because it's nine thirty in the morning, we can't drink yet, Tiana. Right. It's about o'clock somewhere, people. Absolutely. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry to be such a downer. <laughs> <laughs> I one shot and I'm done. So it's not, I, I, I wouldn't make it through the first, uh, the first. Yeah, roll, you couldn't get past the, the first shot of clock space on the board. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a. We're going to have to give you shots of espresso. Yes. And I'll have shots of tequila. We were talking about that. Shots of espresso you know, before the show. We should have did espresso shots. That would be a great thing. That'd, That'd be, be awesome. good for office parties. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. would be good for office retreats. parties. Retreats. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Retreats. Yeah. I'm loving these ideas. I just need, I, I wish I could write That's them what down we're right here now. for you, girl. Yeah, I appreciate God. it. This is very mutually, you know, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you can just go back and rewatch the podcast and you'll be like taking notes. Okay. So yeah. now we're doing this. We're marketing here. Yeah. So Zari, people want to get a hold of you. They want to order this game. They want to be able to reach out and get a customized game for their event. How do they do this? Um, I would start with reaching out at um, my Instagram at RileyAndCo.Games. Everything you see is at Riley and code.games my facebook my instagram i also have a TikTok. Uh, i need to get back on there <laughs> um, but i also have my website as well um, anyone can just kind of reach out and get a consultation going um, otherwise if they want the original board i i do ship um, so they can just reach out and let me know when i can ship it out i also take zell let's see zell cash app apple pay cash of course i love cash um, <laughs> who doesn't <laughs> But yeah, I would go through my Instagram first. I also have um, my phone number, I believe, on on there as well. You can Reach you out. can share it with our audience that's still seeing on audio. Oh yeah. Oh, my number. You yeah. Put my number. Okay. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's weird. I share mine all the time. Right. It feels it's uh, this business thing. Okay. It's seven zero two five nine two one seven two eight. Okay, perfect. So if someone calls you or texts you, they could get started on ordering their game right there. Yeah, just, you know, say like, is this shot o'clock? Or, you know, I, heard, I saw you on the podcast, you know, something like that. Yeah, so I don't just be like, who is this? And she yeah. send yeah. you the link to her Instagram and then you guys can message. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, highly recommend. You want to have a fun game, you want to have a fun time, and the customizable. Oh my gosh, I, I, love I have that so many aspect. ideas right now, so many people that we could do custom games or closing gifts. Closing gifts for their house. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. For your baskets, house. realtors, get at me. Yeah, housewarming yeah. parties. Uh, those uh, definitely with their with their home on their home information on there. Right. Whatever. You know, yeah, give the homeowner a shot or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Something specific to the house. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. See, just keep it going. Um, so many options, you guys. Contact Zari. Get yes. a game. It's so fun. Yeah, contact uh, Zari. Support local businesses. Absolutely. And definitely get, um, get ordering these games and have fun. So if you guys are looking into contacting us for real estate. <laughs> yes, which is um, actually what we do. I know we do a lot of uh, fun stuff on the show, but real estate's the main goal. Yeah. So how do they get a hold of you, Trish, for um, real estate? You can call me, 702-308-2878. As long as it's not shot o'clock, I will call you back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you can always call me at 702-379-9948, and I've been known to take calls during shot o'clock. So <laughs> uh, just so you know, it's a, it's a very real possibility. That could be interesting. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> um, so thanks, guys. And if you're tuning in, please take a moment, like, comment, share, tell your friends about our show, download us. Um, the real estate market is changing rapidly right now. There's a lot of real estate news happening, and we're bringing you the news every week of what's really going on out here in the field. So tune And in, in real time. In real time. A lot of news sources are sort of trailing behind, but... We'll bring it to you as it's happening. Can I chime in on that real quick? Because I've yes, been telling people this all week is um, all of the stats that people are like freaking out about right now are mostly June numbers. Right. Wait till they see July. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so July numbers are going to be a lot, um, a, a, a lot more eye-opening than June numbers. We know because we're out here experiencing it. I, I mean, I do report this inventory every week, but as far as what's been reported on the news, they're they're really all talking about June, so. Um, yeah, that's all in the past numbers that they're pulling up and letting us know how our summer is going. Yeah, so, so be prepared for that. Um, you're gonna be seeing a lot more headlines once July numbers are in. Yeah. Um, a lot more scary headlines, but it's not, there. there's opportunity. There's ways around it. There's opportunity for buyers. Um, this is not, Real estate is something that everybody needs. Everybody has to have a home and it's still way better than renting. So try not to let the news panic you and let's talk, you know, real reality. Right, right. And real estate has always happened, right? In the history, it just keeps going round and round. We've had ups, we have downs, but it still goes, you still need a place to live. I agree 100% with that. But your best source is always gonna be your realtor because they're inside of the market each and every day. Yeah, absolutely. So tune in here. We'll see you every week. And thanks for joining us here on Realty Check. Thank you, Zari. And bye, Thank Vegas. You. Have a great week. Bye, Vegas.